YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at some easy, low risk, simple investments. We're also going to be looking at road to the finals when I think we should maybe be investing them. And we'll be taking a peek at expected content in the next couple of days. But before we get into all that, we're going to talk about content today on Saturday. If you want to have millions of coins in EAFC like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Teddy at checkout to get 6% off your order. Link is in the description down below content today on saturday was really solid for our investments there is a couple investments i have been constantly saying to buy for after team of the year that was 84s and team of the weeks now looking at content what do we get we got another challenge spc high efficiency these are pretty solid you get a little objective done with them uh they're not super hard to complete and um I mean, the objective packs are, are they're, they're decent. That's it. It's nothing super crazy. But if you want to get them done, get some extra packs, uh, go for it. Now, the other SBC, which is really solid, this is making our investment rise a lot, is the 85 plus player pick. I've been telling you guys about 84s nonstop. I think every single video I've been saying 84s after team of the year, they should start to do good. And um this is perfect this is exactly what you want an 85 plus player pick 84 overall squad it refreshes every single day so every day you're going to have an 84 overall squad requirement um my guess was 84s go over 2k it seems like that's easily going to be happening we were buying them for 1100 1200 1300 coins and if we go to flipping real quick you can see how much they're going for they're up in price um I was saying on stream today, we were still buying them for like 14, 1500 coins. They're already pushing 1700. Um, if you can get for 1500 coins on bid, I still think this is good. Even 1600 coins, I honestly still think it's fine. I think these cards are going over 2K. It's it's as simple as that. They're getting required every single day. More SBCs set to come. The 84 plus times 11 refreshes tomorrow on Sunday. One of the cheapest ways to actually do that SBC, I believe, is to put... It, there's an 85 squad in it but i believe the cheapest way to do it is to put like an 87 team of the week in there and then uh fill it with 84s so that sbc also requires 84s so i think these cards can easily go over 2,000 coins and um really good on the low budget i i had a guy come into my stream that was really broke had like 60k and i just said dude just like fill your transfer list with 84s i know they're up in price but buy them for 1500 coins list them up for 1900 at this point you got to list them up even higher because they're starting to push and actually be 1900 coins maybe if you have 84s honestly you might want to start listing for like 22 23 24 because they're going to go over 2k um definitely 87s are up in price i really wanted these to get lower i think I think we were looking for like six two, six three, but they're they're up a thousand coins. So that ship is kind of sailed on those, although they still might rise tomorrow. Um, and that was content drop today for SBCs. I almost forgot about this. We did get an evolution today, a brand new evolution, and heroes have gone extinct because of this. Um, where is it at? Boom! It's it's a good evolution, but it's not like crazy i mean some of the players that have gone extinct we can look on footbin together for example this poppin is extinct why is he extinct i don't know you look at his card 97 shooting is really cool don't get me wrong but the rest of this guy's card is, is garbage 86 pace 75 passing 87 dribbling 79 physical he's just not really that good of a card three star skills four star weak foot it's gonna cost 100k to do the evo this is 60k i mean i guess if the card was on the market maybe it would be closer to around that price but it's just i don't think some of these evos are fully worth it i i mean i think four lawns actually a decent one uh but they're they're all extinct they're all extinct so four lawns card he's actually a pretty solid one four star four star power shot and i think that's the First touch, yeah. First touch playstyle plus is actually fairly decent. Someone like Forlan is good. Pop in. I'm not super crazy about that one. You just saw the Brolin. We were just looking at that. But like they're all extinct. They're all extinct. So getting these cards, their price ranges are way too low. Um a Brolin actually looks pretty decent. But uh that's the hero Evo. It's some of the cards I, I don't think are are worth it really shouldn't be extinct is what i'm trying to say uh let's get into the market now so the market team of the years uh whoo, 
not looking too good on team of the years uh the panic i guess we could say is settled down a little bit but still some of the stuff is just really low um I would still guess over time these cards do good and continue to rise over time in the long run. It's what we saw last year. Um, it's just a little scary. It is a little scary seeing some of these prices. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne, I think his peak was like four, four mil, four two, somewhere around there. He's three five. That's not looking too hot. Um, I bought. You guys know I bought this bright for just over one mil. She's eight sixty. I'm losing big time on that uh some of the icons are, are holding the value a little bit better what did i buy i think i bought chavi for like 810 he's 735 i bought him for 810 he went to 870 didn't sell tanked i bought check for 470 he's 440 444 i'm not panicking on these cards still i'm still holding them um i probably should have sold them and done the investment that i'm about to tell you but i'm just too lazy and um i'm playing foot champs so uh, that's team of the year cards still not panicking over time. I think they'll do decent. And, uh, yeah, that's that. I'm not going to keep rambling on about that. Uh, road to the final cards. Let's talk about these. These cards are so rare. If <laughs> no, like barely anyone's opening packs, um, pretty rare. I would say maybe a low point. We could maybe see a low point tomorrow. Keep an eye out on some of these cards uh mini release should be tomorrow as well so the mini release cards let's just take a peek at those real quick uh this is future stars by the way future stars is the next promo this road to the finals only a one week promo uh future stars dennis rodman's daughter future star cole palmer and then the mini release is here these are the official stats as well not too bad i think this gavardio uh you you guendouzi as well every year guendouzi gets a card by the way he does so good so keep an eye on that uh mini release cards keep an eye on them i think tomorrow there might be a potential flip usually mini release cards sunday they're just very rare on sunday and they get a really nice rise into monday so keep an eye out on potentially flipping these road to the final cards um I, I, we were looking at road to the final on fifa 23 and a lot of them rose a lot of them just rose going into their game they hit a low on the weekend or they hit a low later in the week just remember guys road to the final cards they they rise early road to the knockouts any live cards they rise early going into their game we had it earlier this year with road to the knockouts they played their game like road to the knockouts this year they got their cards and then they they got their cards on the weekend so friday and then they played on like tuesday and wednesday they hit their low tuesday and wednesday but then their next game was like two weeks away and they just kept rising every single day approaching their game even though it was two weeks away so i think investing earlier is better on these roads to the finals this is alaba last year they played on i think like tuesday or wednesday and he they won their game and he just continued to rise um this maybe this is when they played their second i'm not too sure but just rise 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 they a lot of these roads to the finals last year on fifa 23 rose a lot i remember this miranda was crazy this miranda people realized how nasty he was after he got his upgrade this dude went from what 36k 35k to 85k it was wild but that is Road to the Final Cards. I think investing in them is going to be definitely something to keep an eye on. Um, look, at, You want to look at the cards and see like who they play as well. So uh, you don't want to have a tough game necessarily like uh, Dortmund. They have a pretty easy one against PSV. So I would probably expect Sule to rise going into his game uh the first game as well the way these upgrades work is does it say it here i don't know if it does i bet do they have they added it oh yes they added it i love when footpin does this so they added the tracker um but this sucks they don't have the the games well that's stupid um come on footpin fix that up uh all they have to do i believe is draw they don't even you don't even have to win your first game these road to the finals if you draw you get an upgrade so it's gonna actually be really interesting watching these games live to see how these cards move uh but the games they're like two weeks away so it's kind of like how we saw with roads and the knockouts even though their next game was two weeks away they rose going into their next game so definitely just keep an eye on these road to the final cards 235 he's up at 250 so just keep an eye on these cards tomorrow on sunday if it does seem like they get a little low i might be looking to pick a few of these up and that is rose of the finals they rise early guys it's as simple as that i think one of the main cards i'm going to be watching is definitely 
Gavardial, because if we look at Champions League, I think Man City have a really easy game. And the thing with Man City, they play first. So the way the Champions League works here, I'll pull it up so you guys can see. Uh, you have games one week and then games the next week. So like you maybe don't want to buy players that like Dortmund, maybe you don't want to buy players that play at the end of February. Instead, you want to buy these guys that play in 10 days. Man City play in 10 days. So it's, it's more like a week. So I think Gavardio could actually be a really good card to keep an eye on. Any of these ones. These are probably going to be your main targets, these games. These are, what, three weeks out? Just about, just under three weeks out. So these are a little far longer hold, these more short term. So target those teams instead of the others. But um, still keep an eye on, on those games, even though they're they're two weeks out. So uh, that's live cards. That's Road to the Finals. Let's talk about the investments that we're doing you guys know my team of the year investments i'm down bad on them i'm not going to keep talking about it uh i'm still holding now the other investment is simple safe it's the easy way going forward we kind of just talked about it this is what i had up on my stream simple as that investments 84s 1500 coins team of the weeks eighteen thousand coins it's as simple as that we talked about this in the previous video as well it's i'm literally just repeating myself it's the same as the previous video except stuff has risen now Team of the Weeks, you can see I didn't have a lot of coins to work with, but I was buying Team of the Weeks. Nope, that's a packed one. Nope, that's a packed one. Nope. Okay, hold on. Okay, 17.75, 17.75, 18K, 18K. Eight, I packed that one. I packed that one. 18.25. So I've been getting these cards for around 18,000 coins. We've been doing this. I mean, this is that's the price I've been telling you guys, like every single video, 18K, 18K, 18K. These 84s are just ones that I packed, so ignore that. Um, but I think 84s team of the weeks, it's, it's really simple. You got the 84s that required every single day, every single day on that 85 plus player pick. It's great. Um, should rise team of the weeks. They were up at 20,000 coins before content dropped today. People were expecting stuff to come out. They were up at 20 K. Nothing came out. They dropped right back down to 18 K. Now they are going up in price. I think people are starting to buy them again. You can see they are going for 19. What are we at? 1875. You can probably still get these on bid for like 18K, 1825. Let's do a little 18K right here. See what the bids are like. Yeah, that's wrong. No shot. Uh, that market is wrong. <laughs> really? Now we're now we're down here. Okay, let's do some 1825 bids. Um, I think even 1825 is fine. Uh, why do I like team of the weeks? Team of the weeks, they're really low. Team of the weeks are very low, but also tomorrow on Sunday, the 84 times 11 is refreshing and that has a team of the week requirement in it. Also on Sunday, tomorrow Sunday is usually icon or hero SBC day. I think it's going to be a hero SBC tomorrow on Sunday. Um, hopefully we get a team of the week requirement in that. And if we do, that will also help these team of the weeks rise. So that's why I like team of the weeks. We should be getting some requirements. Hopefully it's a good hero SBC and uh, team of the weeks can go up in price. Now, uh, I do recommend you lazy list your team of the weeks going into content drop. I always mention that lazy list your cards into content drop. So what I mean by that is content drop for me is at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So at like 12, 15, 12, 10, 45, 50 minutes before content drop, you want to list your team of the weeks up. So as people are going out and doing whatever new SBCs come out, your team of the weeks are the ones that are popping up. Um, I've done this many times, like when team of the weeks were 30, I bought team of the weeks for like 33K. I lazy listed for 38.5 going into a Sunday and I sold every single team of the week at 38.5 and they didn't even go to 38.5. They were like 36, 37. So Lazy listing into content drop is very OP. You got to do it. If you're on the game, I know some of you guys have lives. You might not be there. Even if you have them listed now, go on your phone, 10, 45, 50 minutes before content drop, hit relist all on the companion app and you get a lot of sales listing into content drop. You'll see the same thing with 84s as well. Um, but that's that with team of the weeks, the price that I think you should lazy list for. I mean, it's going to depend on what they're going for in the morning, because if we get a leak, if some sort of discord gets a leak of what's coming out at content drop and they're like, hey, team of the weeks are required and they tell people to start buying team of the weeks at that point, team of the weeks might get somewhat expensive and you might not want to list for like 20,750 coins. Maybe you want to list for like 21,750 coins. So my guess is 20,750 coins is a very safe listing. If you want to be greedy, 2175 or 2275 is, is definitely a more greedy listing. I got a notification. Is it a leak? 
let's see. Nope, it's a reply from Whale saying, well, against other pros, who knows how to counter it? Yes, but against regular players, you are not scoring shit. We're talking about, I wanna know your guys' opinion. Um, I'll, I'll show you it. Cause the pro scene, the pro scene, uh, the FC pro final thing was today. We watched it live on stream, actually really entertaining. It was very entertaining to watch, but um, I'm curious what you guys think about goalkeeper movement. I've talked about this so many times. Whenever I bring it up, people usually think it's so annoying. They hate it. But after this Anders thing, I feel like people are just doing this to defend the guy that played against Anders because people just people hate Anders. People actually like hate this kid. I don't I, I know why they, they say he's toxic and everything, but people are soft, man. People are a bunch of losers. Sorry, no offense, but people hate celebrations. Oh, he's shushing. You guys got the shush celebration taken out of the game because you get so offended. You get you get so upset. They, he shushed on me. He shushed on, on a video game. He shushed. How dare he? That was my favorite celebration. They took it out of the game because it's too toxic. It's too toxic. Stupid. All right, ready? Watch this. Look at look at where this man's goalie is. This man's goalie is in his own goal. Look at this goal. Is my is my ca my camera might be in the way. But the dude's goalie is in his own net. I just think it's I think it's ridiculous. I think goalkeeper movement is so stupid. It's so dumb. There is a skill gap. There is a skill. Sorry if that was really loud, by the way. There is a skill gap skill gap with goalkeeper movement. I understand that. But like to an extent, there's a skill gap. At some point, like learning it, it starts, you get a little bit of a skill gap. It's not super hard to learn. But then after that, it's luck. Like, did you guess the right way? That's it. Did you guess the right direction? It's it's very frustrating to me. If they could do it for like set pieces in long shots, because I understand stopping a long shot, like the Travellas are really OP. If you move your goalkeeper though, it can you can prevent the long shot. You can move far post very early to stop the Travella. I'm okay with that. But then in the box, it's just, it's luck. Did you guess the right way? Did you not guess the right way? And it's just, it's, I hate it. I hate goalkeeper movement so much. Uh, Back to what I was talking about though, team of the weeks. Uh, you just saw, I didn't win shit. If you have to pay 18, five, fine. It seems like that's what every single person's paying. They're 18, seven, five on snipes uh, on buy now, but the bids are 18, five. So that shows a lot of people are buying team of the weeks. Um, maybe someone has information on it. I have no idea. Uh, let's see. Were they 18, seven, five, 18. That's crazy. You might as well just sit here at 18, five and snipe them. Are you kidding me? Um, another thing with team of the weeks though, you can buy, um, what's it called? Higher rated team of the weeks. So if we go to footbin and look at team of the week real quick, the 86 team of the weeks, 86 overall team of the weeks and the 87 overall team of the week. So 87 just try to get for like 22 K try to get for 22. You might have to overpay a little bit in 86 team of the weeks. Try to get for 20 K flat. You, you kind of want to get for below 20 K to be honest, but 20 K flat is fine. Um, the 87s are really interesting. And the thing with 87s is, I mean, I don't know what we're going to get tomorrow with the hero or the icon. I think it's a hero. Um, I don't know what we're going to get exactly. I don't know what the requirements will be like. We, let's actually go look at the current one and see, but uh team of the weeks 87 team of the weeks they're like the same price as 87 overall cards so when i see a team of the week the same price as gold fodder i think that's something to definitely take a look at and the, the team of the week the 87 team of the weeks are close to like the bottom of team of the week prices so i don't think it's a bad move uh hero where are you what do we got 83 85 if it's anything like that the high rated team of the weeks it's not gonna it's not gonna be good for them if it's if it's an 83 squad with the team of the week requirement it's it's not good for uh for high rated team of the weeks it's not gonna uh make a difference so safe play is probably just to go for the cheapest team of the weeks to be honest what you would really need is something like this for the high rated team of the weeks you would need 86 86 87 with the team of the week requirement but we'll see we'll see what happens tomorrow safe plays to probably just go for the discard team of the weeks closer to 18k uh 84s if you guys are going to be buying 84s still, um, the filter is going to be a bit trickier to buy them. Maybe something like this, 1100, 1500, 99, 10K. 
is your filter and yeah that might be a little hard you might get some popping up to be honest you're going to be better off doing something like 1300 1500 yeah let's try that 1300 1500 might even be better off doing 1400 1500 yeah it, it's gonna be a tough one it's it's definitely gonna be tough 1400 1500 let's see does that it's gonna be tough to filter it um you might even be better off you can try those filters but i think a lot of the bids are prop watch i bet a lot of the bids are 1600 coins and that's why they're not popping up let's go boom 1600 and yep everyone's bidding 1600 coins on the 84 so that's why if you're buying these 84s you might have to pay 1600 and list for like two one two 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 three uh and i'm okay with that to be honest 1600 coins i'm fine with that uh like i said i think they're gonna go over 2k so you you know your profit margin there they go to 2000 coins i just want to see by now how the snipes are in 84s real quick a nice little filter is gold rare premier league arsenal uh brazil this has three of them gabby 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 and what are we looking at 18 17 all right so i would say 1600 coins is, is what i would look to target on 84 overall cards now uh those are the investments 84s team of the weeks maybe 85s Ooh, look at that 1200 coins maybe try to just get a filter that has some 84s and snipe them you might get really lucky and get some of them for cheap like i just got a 1200 coin uh gabrielle awesome uh maybe the 85s i, I don't want to really give a price on the 85s because they're they are expensive they are expensive but i mean 84 times 11 refreshes tomorrow they might get more expensive to be honest uh so those are the investments now expected content hero spc maybe tomorrow 84 times 11 refreshes tomorrow mini release tomorrow which we looked at and keep an eye on the guinduzi and the hold on guinduzi when does napoli play Napoli's the last game, bro. Mm, still want to keep an eye on Guinduzi, but uh, we already we already saw the mini release cards. I'm not going to pull them up again. And uh, that's it for this video, guys. Any questions, comment section down below. Trading Discord, Twitch, live stream, description down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.